Hello everyone. Okay, so in the last video we have discussed what is the agent force data library, how to utilize our unstructured data to answer the customer queries, right? So in this video, let's talk about how to utilize unstructured data to create some records into Salesforce to update some records into Salesforce, right? So we know that every company have some unstructured data stored into some, some PDFs or documents. So how to utilize th that data to serve better for our customer right to automate our ai agents right so before starting this video i have a good surprise for you so if you have completed your agent blazer champion status on trailhead uh, below is the link you can fill out that form and we are distributing free uh, salesforce certification vouchers so if you have completed agent blazer champion status you can fill out that form and you can stand a chance to win uh, a salesforce certification voucher right okay so let's start this video so uh, in this video uh, what use case we are uh, taking is uh, let's say a customer or let's say uh, a student comes to your website and uh, start chatting with your ai agent right now he is interested into salesforce course or he is interested into a java course right so based on their interest right we can we can create some query records into our salesforce uh, system and we can redirect that query into to the relevant department based on their interest right so let me uh, simplify it as a student i came to your website right and i have clicked onto the chat icon and i started chatting with the uh, with the, your ai agent right now i'm just asking that uh, what is crazy cloud and what courses do they offer what is the fees of each course and what is the duration of each course right and then i will tell your ai agent that hey i'm interested into salesforce course let's get enrolled let's uh, like enroll me into your salesforce course right so based on my interest which is salesforce uh, the ai agent will create a query record and assign it to the relevant department right so let's say the salesforce uh, if you are enrolling into salesforce the correct department is salesforce department if you are enrolling into java the correct department is, is java department right so that's how you can do uh, uh, that that's what we are going to do right so let me let me just share my screen <laughs> So here I have prepared one uh, document in which I have mentioned all the things that what is Crazy Cloud and what what are the courses offer, offered by sales uh, what what are the courses offered by Crazy Cloud what is the fees of uh, Crazy Cloud although this is not a, the real data it is a dummy data right so you can also create uh, this type of unstructured data into your PDF right so what is the course duration of each course and what is the correct department of each course right so here this is a document which i have uploaded into my agent force data library this is the agent force data library which i have used into, into the previous video right and into this video uh, into this agent force data library i have uploaded this course detail dot pdf right so now this data library will uh, this data library can be used to fetch some data from this document right now here is an apex class uh, assign query to queue dynamically so this is taking two inputs one is the course name and one is the developer name right uh, and based on the queue based on the course name name and queue developer name what it is doing is creating a query record right so selected course queue dot selected course is nothing but the course name which user has provided right and owner id is nothing but uh, your ai agent is fetching the uh, correct queue developer name from the document right so what 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 will be the flow of this uh, conversation is first i as a student will show interest in the crazy clouds salesforce course right so your ai agent will pick up that salesforce term right and it will find the salesforce term into the document that the fees of the salesforce course is 20000 uh, the duration is 2 months and the correct department is salesforce department right so based on my interest it will create a query record for me right so let's see how it happens so this is a uh, this is your apex class which is taking two inputs course name and queue developer name and this is a confirmation message which this is returning right so it is a very simple class that it is uh, creating a query record and then assigning the confirmation message and returning it back to the ai agent right now let's see how it really happens 
so here is a topic so this is my uh, crazy cloud agent which we are using right so into this agent we have i have created one topic which is crazy cloud queries right so let me just open this topic and the classification description is this topic addresses user queries related to crazy cloud and their courses and facilitate uh, the creation of query records based on user interest you you'll have to you know uh, provide exact prompt which you you want your AI agents to answer right so make sure that your classification description scope and instructions are well returned well returned right and this scope is my job is to assist users by answering their queries about crazy cloud and courses right okay so instructions are nothing but okay let me just add some actions here we know that uh, to uh, if you want your AI agent to fetch uh, some data from your data library, you will have to add one action which is answer uh, queries from, let me create a new action, add from asset library. So here is an action available which is answer questions with knowledge, right? So this action is particularly used for your AI agent to search answers into the agent force data library documents, right? So I'm assigning this action to this topic finish now when you say that uh, what is crazy cloud and uh, and what courses do they offer so it will uh, so using this action answer questions with knowledge using this uh, action this ai agent will fetch data from the pdf document right or this document right which is uploaded into agent force data library now let's say that your ai agent has fetched all the details right now it has to create a query record right so to create a query record we'll create a new action which will invoke this apex class right so now let's just create one new action action type would be apex category would be uh, invocable method because this class is an invocable class right uh, invocable method right reference section is nothing but uh, assign student query to queue from pdf and now what what are the instructions these are the inputs of the apex class and th this is the output of the apex class so course name is nothing but a this is a required field this is a required field a uh, required input the second uh, input is queue developer name. This is also a required field. You can put any description, whatever, whatever you want, right? Or maybe this can be an instruction uh, where you can instruct your AI agent that what what type of input it can accept, right? So this is an output to show on the UI this is just a message right show in conversation and let's finish it complete all the required fields uh, submitting your query right let's get finished okay so here what i have done is uh, this particular uh, crazy cloud agent has a data library assigned which is uh which is this crazy cloud general documents right and into this data library i have uh i have updated a document which is this course details right into this document i have written all the things that uh, what is crazy cloud what courses do we offer what is the fees duration and what is the correct uh, uh correct department to assign the query right and i have added this particular document into my data library now I have created a topic into my agent which is crazy cloud queries and this topic is responsible to answer all the queries of uh, of the student right uh, if a student is asking about crazy cloud and what courses do they offer uh, this topic will use this particular action which is answer question with knowledge to to fetch uh, to fetch the answers from the uh, agent force data library and once 
the answer uh, once the a agent got the answers it will use uh, this particular action to create the query record into our salesforce right so let me just read all the instructions once so it says that invoke answer questions with knowledge action whenever user inquires about crazy cloud and its courses right so whenever you are inquiring about crazy cloud and its courses it will always call answer questions with knowledge action right why because this action is particularly used for fetching the details from the data library if a user shows interest in any course invoke answer questions with knowledge action to fetch the correct course name and queue developer name right user can show the interest using the terms like i am interested in salesforce enroll me in python etc once user sees this use answer questions with knowledge action to fetch the correct course name and queue developer name and based on user's interest from the data library once you fetch the course name queue developer name from the data library pass it to the assign student query to queue from pdf action this is the action name right so once you fetch the correct course name and the queue developer name you just have to use those uh, inputs and pass it to the this action to create the query record right once this ai agent will call this apex class it will pass course name and queue developer name and it will create one query record and pass a confirmation message which is your query successfully submitted and your query id is qc.name right now before doing that make sure that this apex class has access to the uh, like your agent user has access to the apex class right so let me just go to users and first let me check the username which is crazy cloud agent this is the user right uh, crazy cloud agent so i will add this apex class into the permission set uh, where is apex class apex class access add it and add this apex class to the permission set now my ai agent this ai agent will be able to uh, access this particular apex class right now okay so all things have been done let me just check the data library i will just click on show sources so that we know that which document it is referring to right save okay let me tell you one more thing uh, into this data library we know we have we can see that we have two documents right so if you are uh, if you uh, if you are inquiring about any question or anything which is available into this document it will fetch from this document and if you are inquiring anything about the which is uh, available into this document it will fetch from this document right so one agent for data library can have multiple documents right so let's just click on save and uh, let's refresh this okay let's ask it first question which is what is sorry what courses do crazy cloud offers right so as a student i have came to crazy cloud website and i'm start started chatting with this ai agent so i'm just asking that what courses do crazy cloud offers right so it is saying that crazy cloud offers courses in salesforce java python and aws so from where this uh, ai agent is getting this data that it provides salesforce java and python courses it is showing it to the sources which is course details right now let me ask uh, some more questions fees and duration i'm not asking the complete question that what is the fees and duration of each course is right i'm just asking fees and duration right so we know that it stores the context right let's click uh, enter what is the fees and duration so it has summarized the summarized the uh, document which we have uploaded and it is getting the answers as salesforce 20,000 and duration is two months. So from where it is getting the answers from this document. So you see we have two tables uh, Two tables available here. One is a course fees and one is a course duration So it has uh, utilized these two tables and providing us the answer sources is 
the same course detail uh, PDF, right? It says that let me show if you want if you would like to enroll or need more details. Let's just type yes. So it will understand that yes, I am interested to enroll into uh, Salesforce course, right? So let's do yes, enroll me in Salesforce. Now see what it is doing. So in the backend, it has fetched that uh, if the user is interested into Salesforce, it will go to the uh, this particular document and see that what Q developer name is assigned for the Salesforce. So Salesforce is for Salesforce underscore department, right? So it says you have been successfully enrolled into the Salesforce course and your query ID is Q7 right so how it is creating the data so once you have given it a prompt that yes enroll me in salesforce what it will do see i have given it a clear instruction that user can show the interest using the terms like i am interested in or enroll me in python right so here i have given it a prompt that enroll me in salesforce so once user says this use answer question with knowledge prompt or action right so here it has used this particular action answer questions with knowledge why because it it needs that particular q developer name so here it has used this uh, particular action and got the salesforce underscore department as the q developer name once you fetch the course name it has called another action which is assigned student query so it has passed these particular inputs to the apex class and apex class has created the query record and passed the confirmation message got it so this is how you can utilize your unstructured data to create or update or do anything whatever you want into your salesforce org using the ai is it right so in the previous video someone has commented whether we can you utilize those data to create some records or not so now i hope you got your answer